Rochdale 13 with Alan Kilshaw after a agonising defeat uh, at home to Featherstone Rovers. It was in the balance till f- four minutes till the end. What was your take on it? Oh, look, when driving out of training yesterday with 16 players and um, looking now busted they were, he probably offered me that result. We would have took it, but um, you know, I thought our efforts de- deserved a little bit more. Um, we probably just lacked that cutting edge, that lack that lack of experienced player probably goes against us at, at times where I think Feb just had enough in him. Um, just two periods in both halves where, where we've imploded a little bit, we've, we've made errors and then they've scored off the back of that and, and then gone back to back. There's twice there where we've, we've conceded 12 points without touching the ball and we, we need to be smarter than that because both times we've kicked off and give a penalty away and, and then they've scored. and. Um, you know, otherwise, you know, apart from those two moments, I thought we defended really well. And you look at the tries they scored. You know, a breakaway try, and you know, like I say, a try when we've not had much ball both times. So disappointing in that sense. Um, very proud in others. We asked them to be a team. We asked them to turn up and do all the little things well, and they did. And um, you know, it is a little bit disheartening for those boys again because their efforts again didn't come up with a with a winning pay. But we've got um, we've got some time now to regroup and five games and it's getting harder you know let's be honest it's getting harder and um, but we'll, we'll keep fighting and there's five games ahead of us um, and you know we'll go out and try and win every one and you know if we, we come up with that sort of effort and we get those experienced players back or some bodies back then we're not going to be far away it was a funny game really because the the first half and the second half are carbon copy of each other you start well two quick try quick fire featherston tries and then there's an arm wrestle you just didn't have enough towards the end, and, and you probably the 16 men took its toll on you. Yeah, but I think Featherstone had 16 as well. I didn't see Carly go on off the bench, um, so you know there's, there's excuses. <laughs> we lost a couple of blocks during the game. We lost Miles. We were growing, and you know he had a good game, and he's not played for so long, so there's always a chance of that. Look, Lewis Hatton's playing there with broken ribs and and a, and a serious knee injury, and how brave was he? And that's what's what we're looking for, and that's what we're at. And you know, if, if nothing else, we've shown how brave we are today. And look, we, we know it wasn't the same person now. Last time we were playing these, we were getting beat 46 0 at half time. We got beat 80 points to four. So there must uh, be a level improvement there from our boys and, and a level of desire. And they've got that togetherness. And like I say, I'm not worried about these next five games because I think if we turn up like that, you know, you know who knows. But even if we did win all those five, it might not be enough. So. I think the good thing is we've got this week off, we've got this, this rest now and we'll still be in training Tuesday, Thursday and we'll freshen up and Swinton will be pinpointing the game and I know they'll have a dis- they've had a disappointing loss today again and we'll be pinpointing the game and you know it's, it's huge for both sides. And um, you touched it then, the week off, what what will your preparation look like now between now and, and Swinton? We probably won't get much done on Tuesday, um, but it'd be good to get a good skill session in Thursday, um, a good opposed session. If we got the numbers, we have getting people back. Toby should be back next next week, or you know, for the the Swinton game. Jack Fox should be fit. Both decks, Gregory and Kay, are a chance. Um, I think we came through unscathed, apart from Miles today, and you know, there's, there's some with ongoing injuries and niggles, but like I say, hopefully we can get over them with, with the Wembley weekend and, and come back after Bank Holiday refreshed. And the crowd really got behind behind the lads today. Obviously, there was a big following from from Fev. Um, but it, it's been a bit doom and gloom recently. But I think you, you might have won a few people over with the way the heart and, and, and the soul of the players today. I think since the last Featherstone game, I think we've 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 turned up and had a dig every game. You know, we've I think um, you know we beat Swinton, we challenged Lee, we were good in Toronto. Um, you know, we went and challenged Halifax for periods, and we've had two you know agonising defeats in the last two weeks, haven't we? And uh, I think the one thing is about putting that 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 jersey on and, and playing with that pride, and I think we have done, and I think our fans respond to that, and they did today. And you know, I thought both sets of fans were good. You know, both sets of fans will have different disappointments for different reasons. Obviously, Featherstone not making the four and our guys because we're at the foot of the ladder, but uh, I thought both sets of fans got behind. You know, both sets of players, and it was always going to be a scrappy game with the weather, and it was a little bit stop start, and the ruck speed wasn't the, the fastest for both sides, but. Like I say, I think that the, the both sets of crowds, you know, showed their loyalty to, to the players, and uh, we can't ask for any more than that. And just finally, um, you without Morgan Smith today, he's been uh, vital over the last few weeks. He was vital in that win against Swinton. Do you feel a bit, a uh, bit more quality in the in the middle could have could have edged it for you today? You no, know, I thought both halves kicking game was really good today, and we put pressure on them 
for that. But you know, we'd had Morgan potentially play Tyler at fullback and, and played with three pivots, so we had different options. Um, obviously, we're going to miss a player of Morgan's quality, and uh, you know, who knows if it's all ifs and buts. If he did play, then you know that bit of quality we, we might have got over the line a little bit more um, with, with the possession we had. Um, but like I say, I thought both halves turned up today. Um, it's just one of them with Morgan and dual registration. Like I say, we probably were a couple of experienced players off, off winning today, so it's you know it was difficult. Cheers, Owen.